This is a chaotic start to the race. And even the riders themselves are trying to continue to make sense of this. And we're getting to a different section of the race now. 102 kilometers to go, we're 6Ks from the first climb and another group seems to be developing. And look at the size of the gap already. Alarm bells are ringing here. 89 kilometers to go is a long way. But if you miss the split over the top and in the wind here, it could well be game over. And it's the world champion who's making the pace. Macha Fodapol is at it again. And another race that he's yet to tick off. And the box ticking exercise continues. He's blowing the peloton to pieces here. The world champion away. The former world champ follows him. Milan's there as well. That's Koi trying to stay involved too. But there's some real casualties here. Germay on your picture. Turner trying to follow him. There's Von Gestel. Michael Matthews. Niels Pollock flies past as well, but not at the same pace as Mathieu Fodderpool. And Jonathan Milan racing away to a very big lead now. Here we go then. Plug Street's number one of three. It's time to go off road. Jonathan Milan has a 24 second gap on those chasing him. It's Matcher Fodderpool on the attack on Hill 63, trying to get rid of the Lidl Trek riders and trying to get up to the leading rider, who is Jonathan Milan. He gets half a wheel, but Mars Pearson grips his teeth. And Matcher Fodderpool can't quite escape this time. Fodderpool on the move again. 12 seconds to Milan. The world champion is trying to use this to his advantage. He knows he's got Phillips behind as a sprint option. Here we go. This is interesting, because as soon as Milan is caught, Mars Peterson makes his move, and Lidl Trek are now using the numbers. It's the second and final time up the Belvedere side, but a reminder, we've got to go to the Oswell before we come back to Wevelgem. This is hard enough. And at the minute, Milan still there, not able to ride away. Behind they're moving, behind they're trying to close the gap, and now Trentin, another race starts developing. How many times have we seen this already today? The wind, the crashes, the echelons, the groups, and another chapter of this story is being written on the Camelback. Oh, no, 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 no. That is a shocker of a crash for Alex Kirsch. What on earth happened there? And in such a dangerous position on the parkour. That's a miracle nobody went down with him. Oh, another crash. This time it's Rasmus Tiller down. Oh, and that's not looking good. That is not good for Emé de Kent. Emé de Kent down for Kofidis, who have had a bit of a nightmare day. And looking at those images, it looks as though he will stay down. Casualties around every corner today in Kids Wivelkam. Peterson really making the running here, and Lawrence Pithy's race in danger of collapsing on this hill. He's already lost a good 15 to 20 metres. Fighting the bike left and right. He's in and at the saddle. No chance to even take notice of the crowd screaming his name left and right. It's all for Peterson. It's all for Fodder Paul. Those two at the front and building their gap. Two legends taking each other on up to the top of the Kemmelberg. And there's nothing to separate them as they go over the top for the third and final time. One of the greatest that we've ever seen. 500 turns to 400. We wait for the moment. He's about to pounce. Peterson knows it as well. 300 now from the line as they approach. It is Mars Peterson himself who launches it. Peterson is going to go from a distance here. Farnham Paul is trying to get around. At the minute, he's not able to. Now he comes and tries. Farnham Paul fighting. On the right, there he goes. Matcha Farnham Paul, but it's Peterson still there. Farnham Paul is out of gas and take a look at that. Mars Peterson at last. Matcha Farnham Paul. A second win in four years for him, and Lidl Trek have proven that the world champion can be beaten. It's Milan on the left-hand side trying to get on the podium as well. He doesn't make it. That honour goes to Jordi Mills, who wins the sprint just 19 seconds behind.